Shavua Tov and welcome back to the Women's Jewish Learning Center Weekly Two Minutes of Torah. I'm Rabbi Ilana Cantor. In this week's Parsha, the Parsha begins, V'haya ekev tishma'un, if you will surely listen. Now that word ekev, which in this context means surely, can also mean the word heel, the heel of a person's foot. What could possibly be the connection between the heel of a person's foot and the word surely. Rabbi Moshe Weinberger explains it, that what's being asked of us in this verse is that we listen in such a way that it goes all the way down to our heels, that we listen with everything we have. We listen to the words that the person says, but we also listen to the tone of their voice, what Rabbi Jack Reamer called the voice behind the words the voice that may communicate something that the words themselves cannot. So we listen deeply in that way. But what the verse may also be pointing us toward is that we listen with our bodies as well as our hearts and souls. We listen with our eyes that can see the sadness on a person's face. We listen with our touch that when we were holding their hand, it felt like they were holding on for dear life. We listen with our entirety because when we listen in that way, we will hear the cries for help. We will hear the expressions of love that are being addressed to us. And we will hear that still, small voice of God that calls to us every moment of every day. And lastly, when we listen surely, deeply, with our entire selves, when we listen from our head to our toes, not in the way where something goes in one ear and goes out the other, then we will be sure that we are not missing the most important things in life. When we listen to people that way, and when we listen to Torah that way, in the way that we internalize into ourselves, all the way down to our heels, then we will incorporate those priorities, those ideas into our entire being, and we'll be able to use them for our own good, for the good of others, and for the good of the world that we live in. So may it be, Shavuotov.